Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to take a look at a tripod that I purchased here on Amazon. This is the Coleman um, KZ3636. Now, in your box, you're going to get this really nice travel case um, that your tripod comes in. Inside of this case, you're also going to find your handle. This is a padded case. It does have a nice little arm strap here, so this is gonna make it really easy for transporting your tripod around. Now, this tripod does have a fluid head. Let's take a look at the actual tripod itself. Now, I already have the tripod out of the case, guys, so here is our tripod. This is mostly metal. This, you know, I would classify this as a budget tripod, but in most cases, this is gonna be more than enough tripod for a lot of our productions in studio, in home and office. Now, we do have these extendable legs. These legs will extend up to 74 inches. We control those legs with these little knobs that you see here. You have two sets of those, two at the top, and then two here at the bottom. You have these little rubber feet, and that's just gonna uh, protect your floors and also secure the tripod when it's upright. The fluid head itself has two controls. On the back here, you have a uh, restraint for your panning, and then you have another one for your tilt. Now, this has a quick release plate. The quick release plate is locked in place. As you guys see, it's locked in right now. Now, I can free that up where this will slide back and forth, but it will not come out. So what that means is there is a safety mechanism right here that you have to depress in order to take the uh, quick release out. We'll get to that in a second. Now, one of the things that we want to do in the beginning when we first set up one of these tripods, guys, is get our handle connected, okay? So let me get this set up here on the floor. All right, so here's our tripod just sitting here. So what we wanna do is we wanna connect our handle to this. Now the handle is included. You get one of these handles that come with it. Now I usually just adjust the handle. I'll just start screwing it in, you know, until I get it to a point where I know I want to level it off. Be careful putting in the screws, guys, so you don't accidentally strip this out. Okay, so we're just gonna get this right about there. That's a little bit too tight, so I still wanna have a little bit of adjustment before I lock everything in. So I want my handle to be something like this. So now at this point, I can go ahead and lock it in. There are these little teeth here that will line everything up, so once you feel those catch, you know all you have to do is tighten it down. You don't have to over-tighten it in order for this to be you know, secure. Now what this handle is now gonna do is going to allow us to pan and to tilt, okay? Now, like I said, you can extend this tripod all the way up to um, 74 inches, you know, mostly metal and construction. Now, in, the, in, the, um, in your case, you are gonna get some other accessories. You're gonna get a few little tools with some Allen keys and also some restraints to kind of lock these legs together when you're traveling so that they don't separate inside of the bag. All right, so let's get this thing set up, guys, and get a camera mounted on it and see what we think about it. Okay, guys, let's take a quick look at the uh, quick release plate. It does have an Allen key connected here right in the front, and what that allows us to do is to easily detach this Allen key and then tighten down whatever camera we're connecting to uh, this quick release plate. All right, guys, so here's our camera. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this camera on our quick release plate, and then we're gonna test it on the tripod itself. Okay, so with our Allen key, once we have our quick release plate semi-rigid tight, all we have to do is take this little Allen key and just drop it in and we can further tighten down this on here. It doesn't have to be super tight. You just wanna make sure that it's not gonna be you know, moving around. If you grab the camera, you know, it's not gonna moving, be moving off of the base of the uh, quick release plate. Now, this quick release plate is the drop, de drop in type and you just drop it in and it's gonna stay in place. So here is our tripod right here, as you guys can see. So now all I have to do is rotate this around, as you guys can see here. I should be able to just drop. So that's gonna drop in just like this. Then at that point, you're just gonna tighten it off. I'm gonna lower this down a little bit, guys so, you guys, so you guys can definitely see exactly what I'm working with. All right, guys, as you can see now, our camera is now on the tripod. Now I do have the, the pan freed up. So you guys can see how smooth this pans. I'm gonna unlock the tilt, and as you guys can see, you can easily tilt the camera. Now you can determine how much 
resistance there's going to be. So I can set this where whenever I move it, it's going to stay in place. And based on your camera, so like right now, you see the camera still kind of moving just a little bit. So that means I don't have it tight enough. Now when I release it, and if I move it, it's going to stay in place. And all of those adjustments are being done right here on this knob here. Now this doesn't have to be super tight. You just want to have it tight enough that when you release the camera, it's going to stay in place and you don't have to worry about that. But you can still, as you see here, we can still pan. I could tilt this down. Now it's still moving a little bit, so I'm going to tighten it down again. All right, so now I can tilt this. Maybe I'm recording something from below. I want it to go down a little bit further. No problem. So you have 90 degrees in the front, 75 degrees in the back. You have 360 degrees as far as your rotation. You can rotate this all the way around up to 360 degrees. So this is a win, guys. This is a win for a budget level tripod. This tripod, again, guys, is from Coleman. I did purchase this tripod myself. <clears throat> so I wanted to be able to share this with you guys this morning. Hopefully, you know, someone who's interested in getting one of these tripods for their studio for their home office or kind of a running gun type of rig. This is gonna be ideal for like weddings and conferences and things like that. So hopefully this video has been helpful to someone out there who's trying to make a decision. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, peace, I am out.